my resources. Um, and I am going to scroll down today so that we can use our eye tools. And our eye tools are right here with this friendly star. I'm going to click on there. And since we have been reviewing our base 10 blocks and how they represent numbers, so I'm going to click on base 10 blocks. And we are going to be using our base 10 blocks today in an activity um, during our station work. So when you get to the Promethean panel station, um, know that you will need your Promethean station graphic organizer as well as your pencil. And once you get here, you are going to come up to the panel as a group and you are going to work together to work through representing each of the numbers on your graphic organizer using our base 10 blocks and this I tool. So I'm going to model this for you. Um, you may not start at the station, but when you get here, you'll know exactly what to do. So if I am referring to my graphic organizer, the first number that I need to represent using my base 10 blocks is 15. What number was that? 15. Okay, perfect. I'm glad we're all on the same page here. So I know that 10, fits into 15, so I'm going to, and if it does that, students, it's okay. Just click out with the X. I'm going to click on my 10 cube, and I'm going to put it here on what I'm gonna call my canvas or my workspace, and boom, I have my 10 cubes there, and there is a 10 over here representing the number of cubes in our space. Now, I don't need 10, I'm trying to represent 15. Hmm, I couldn't put another 10 here because that would be more than 15. So I'm gonna go to my one cube here and I'm going to begin adding 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I can clean this up by pressing this line up button here. And here I have my 15 cubes. So now that I have successfully represented the number 15 with our base 10 blocks, I am going to draw our base 10 blocks right here in this section of our graphic organizer. Thumbs up if you understand how you are going to work through this graphic organizer at this station. All right, I see a lot of thumbs up, awesome. All right, so hey, it's our turn to do this station. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Uh-oh, you started already. Hey, you're good at this tool. All right, so the next number on our worksheet is, it looks like a three and a two. 32. 32, okay. okay. So how many base 10 blocks do we need? Um, at least one. Let's, let's start, we got one. That gives us 10, okay. We gotta get to 32. So we need at least one more. How many tens are in 30? Um, I think three. Okay. Let's see, so we got one, two, three. Yeah, so now we have 30. Okay, and then we just need two more. So I think we gotta switch to I'll let you, the I'll ones. Let you do that. Right, not the hundreds, but we're gonna go one, and then we'll do two of those. Okay, 32. Uh-oh. Oh, what happened? We're, we're one too many. We added too many. Uh, I oh. think we need to go to the eraser to to erase this mistake here. All right. Hey, it worked. All right. Awesome. And look, you can line it up. Boom. Cool. 32. All right. All right, now we have to draw it on our graphic organizer. Got it. All right, I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> 